You're welcome to another exciting edition of Five Orange Vibes, where we share with you five activities of UNFPA Ghana over the past week. In our headlines, one, UNFPA joins partners to mark World AIDS Day. Two, Gender Ministry in collaboration with UNFPA and partners march to end SGBV. Three, flash mob held by KIA to create awareness on gender-based violence. Four, UNFPA holds consent workshop for students. And five, UNFPA organizes out-of-school youth engagement on Wawaba. To the details and to celebrate this year's World AIDS Day, UNFPA joined partners to recognize the essential role that communities have played and continue to play in the fight against AIDS. Speaking at the event, under the theme, Communities Make the Difference, Help and Aid, UN Aid Country Director Miss Angela Trenton in Bondi stated that gender inequality and denial of human rights is leaving many behind, hence the need to strengthen the capacities of communities to become effective advocates and implementers. Gender Ministry in collaboration with UNFP and Partners March to End SGBV. The Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection in collaboration with UNFPA and other partners organized a street war campaign against sexual and gender-based violence. From the Obra spot at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle through the principal streets of Accra to the head office of the Gender Ministry, participants held placards to raise awareness against rape culture and domestic violence. Some of the placards read, Stop spousal violence now, defend the rights of girls and say no to sex for jobs. Flash mob held by Kaye to create awareness on gender-based violence. Still on activities to mark the 16 days of activism, UNFPA in collaboration with Purim Africa Youth Development Platform paid organized a flash mob with Kaye girls at the Abu Bloshi market to create awareness on sexual and gender-based violence and harmful practices. During the event, Ms. Selena Wusu of UNFPA stated that violence in any form was criminal and perpetrators must be brought to book. Inspector Lucy A.J. Marfo of Dovsu also encouraged women to report cases of sexual abuse or any form of violence to the unit for the law to take its course. The young Kaye who were trained as peer educators further engaged the public on the effect of SGBV HP. UNFPA holds consent workshop. UNFPA in collaboration with Drama Queens and Albert Einstein German Academic Refugee Initiative Daffy gathered young people from various tertiary institutions at the E. Anansi Library at the University of Ghana to participate in a workshop that Let's Talk Consent. This semi-formal and interactive workshop was designed to deconstruct rape culture through consent education. In a statement read by the Assistant Representative of UNFPA Ghana, Mr. Bawa Amadou, he reminded participants that the workshop was tailored at equipping and empowering young people fight against sexual and gender-based violence in the country. UNFPA organizes out-of-school youth engagement on Wawaba. As part of activities to solicit the views of prospective users of the Wawaba web-based platform, UNFPA Ghana organized an out-of-school youth engagement in Tema New Town. During the engagement, participants were guided on how to navigate the web-based platform while exploring the various features of Wawaba. The young people were also provided with sexual and reproductive health information. Thank you very much for watching this exciting edition of 5 Orange Vibes. Follow all our social media handles for more updates. See you later on our next broadcast.